How are you doing math learners? This is your free access math teacher Ash and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss adding integers. So before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of the school clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners! Before discussing how to add integers, let's first discuss what is an integer. Integer is any whole number. It can be positive, negative, or zero. Example, positive 2, negative 5, 245, 0, positive 9 or 9, negative 1, and 399 or positive 399. Let's continue. The question is, how do we add positive and negative integers? Let's think first about number chips. We can think of positive 4 as 4 positive chips, like this. Alright, now let's think another example. We can think of negative 3 as 3 negative chips. So that would be chips with negative signs. Another example is negative 8. So negative 8 uses eight negative chips and finally we have positive six and positive six uses six positive chips all right now let's consider an example four plus seven so four and seven here are all positive so therefore we will be using four chips positive and seven positive chips having those we will have an answer of 11 positive chips or positive 11 easy right let's consider another example we have negative 2 plus positive 5 so we will think of the number chips we have negative 2 and positive 5 so we will use two negative chips and five positive chips now in case of this scenario remember that one negative chip and one positive chip will cancel each other giving us only three positive chips so our answer is positive three very simple right another example we have three plus negative five thinking of the number chips we have positive three that is three positive chips and negative five that is five negative chips canceling one positive and one negative so we have three chips that will cancel each other giving us two negative chips our final answer would be negative two simple right let's consider another example negative eight plus five using number chips we have eight negative chips and five positive chips canceling all the positive and negative we will have an answer of three negative chips so the final answer for this problem is negative 3. Easy, right? Now, another example. What if we have two negative? We have negative 3 plus negative 5. Using the number chips, we have negative 3 and negative 5. That is 3 negative chips and 5 negative chips. Since there are no chips to be cancelled, therefore, we'll just count all the chips. And the final answer is 8 negative chips which is equal to negative 8. Simple. Now, now let's consider the example. Negative 3 plus negative 8. We have the number chips, 3 negative and 8 negative chips. So the, our final answer is negative 11. Easy, right? We have 4 plus negative 5. That means 4 positive chips and 5 negative chips. Since these are opposite chips they will cancel out and there will be one chip remaining in the negative chip giving us a final answer that is negative one easy right now let's continue we have negative three plus nine using the number chips we have three negative chips we have nine positive chips canceling all the negative and positive we still have six positive chips Therefore, our answer is positive 6. Now, let's consider a more challenging question. 
This chip method works fine in adding and subtracting smaller numbers. But question, what if we need to add larger numbers? Example, 65 and negative 34. Now, if we consider these numbers through chips, it wouldn't make sense, right? So therefore, one way to solve these kind of problems is the use of rule method. If the numbers you are adding have different signs, what you will do is you subtract the absolute values of those numbers and then determine which is larger. The sign of the answer will depend on the sign of the larger number. Now, let's consider this given concept map. If you are adding and the question is, are they in the same sign? If yes, then add the numbers together. But if they're not, then you subtract the smaller number from the larger number and then what is the answer what's the sign so if the larger number is positive then the final answer is positive however if the larger number is negative then your answer is negative now let's continue if the beginning signs are the same what you will do is you just add and the answer is still the same sign of the given addends if the beginning signs are different, then what you will do is you subtract the numbers and then copy the sign of the bigger number or the larger number. Now, let's consider some examples. We have 28 plus 63. Both are positive, right? So we just add 28 and 63, giving us 91. So therefore, the final answer of this one is positive 91 since our 28 and 63 are both positive. Okay, let's continue. We have negative 12 and positive 34. Since they are not same sign or they have different signs, what we will do is we subtract 34 to 12. So that gives us 22. Now, this 22 is not yet the final answer because we need to validate which number is larger. Since 34 is larger than 12 and 34 is positive, therefore, our final answer is positive 22. Easy, right? Now, let's consider some more examples. We have 24 and negative 42. In adding them, since they have different signs, what we will do is we subtract the numbers. 42 minus 24. That gives us 18. However, 42 here is bigger and its sign is negative. So, our final answer is negative 18. Easy, right? Let's consider another example. We have negative 64 plus 39. Since they have different signs, what we will do is we subtract the numbers 64 and 39, giving us 25. Now, 64 here is the bigger number and has a negative sign. So, therefore, we will follow that negative sign and our final answer is negative 25. Did you get the idea here? I hope you have. Let's continue. 83 plus negative 46. 83 and negative 46 have different signs so we will subtract them. 83 minus 46. That is 37. However, the larger number is 83 and it is positive then our final answer is positive 37. All right, let's continue. We have we have 57 plus negative 74. Still different signs, so we will subtract them. 74 minus 57, that gives us 17. However, 74 is negative. So therefore, our final answer is negative 17. Okay, let us continue. We have negative 132 plus 231. Now, since they have different signs, we will subtract them. 231 minus 132, that gives us 99. However, the bigger number here is the 231 and it is positive. Therefore, our final answer is 99. I hope you get the idea of our lesson for today. It's very simple, right? Now, this is the time that I will be giving you the sample exercises for you to try whether you have understood our lesson for today. So, these are the try these questions. We have two sets of problems 
So hopefully, you will answer all the 14 questions. This is still your free access math teacher Ash. And always remember, it's fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you so much. Stay safe and God bless. Kindly subscribe, like, and share.